me? Yes, you. How would you like to play Minecraft with dinosaurs? That sounds pretty dangerous, actually. It is. It's fantastic. Simply follow this guide and unadulterated dinosaur action awaits you. Make sure that you like the video also and subscribe to Vertigo if you haven't already. Remember, if something chases you, run. Hello everybody, Vertigo here once again with another how to install video. It's been a very, very, very long time since I've done one of these. Uh, this is actually an update to the old one we did, which was for fossils in archaeology. Which basically, as you all may or may not know if you haven't seen my channel before, or if you've seen other videos, that it adds dinosaurs, and well that's pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to do that. And as you can see, here's the lovely sort of banner they've made for it. It's quite nice. That's actually stuff that you can find in the game, the more you know and whatnot. Uh, if we scroll down just to about here, perfect. You get a rudimentary installation guide, which some people find helpful. Some people can do it from that, like I could. Some of you guys I know can't, so this is what the video is for. What we're going to go ahead and do is show what you need to do. So you need to download Forge 10.13.2.129. Okay, so you need to do that. So what we're going to do is the first step is you want to download. So you can right-click, open a new tab. I've already got downloaded it, so I won't need to actually do it, but it'll download it anyway. So this card. But you click keep, if or however you download it, if it's a save, whatever, just download that, okay? So that is how you get the archaeology. So you've got one out of the two files needed. Now you need Forge. I will leave a link in the description to this website. Or you can just copy files.minecraftforge.net. Or if you're kind of shady of that and just want to find out, just Google Minecraft Forge and you'll find this website. Then you click 1.7 to 1.10 or 1.7.10 but if it's updated by then you can go from any of these as well so this could also be used to any future things as long as they don't change the setup and then you want the installer window or windows like I did and then I said install there we go and what this should do I should also say you want recommended not latest I always go for recommended just for safety as you can see there it wants at least 12191 and this is 1448 okay and once this is downloaded, all this is going to do is lead to a link that downloads it for you. So what you want to do now is come back to this. And once you've downloaded both of them, you need to make sure that if you haven't loaded Minecraft before on 1.7.10, you need or 1.8 if it's updated at the time, you need to make sure you play that at least first. So if you haven't done that, go and do that now before you continue with the rest of this guide, okay? Okay, once those are both downloaded, what you need to do is you need to go to the folder that you have them saved in. I saved them into a custom-made folder, which is called Fossils, aptly named, I know. And you want to go to the forge installer and you want to double click it come up with uh do you not trust this very loud beeping noise uh then you want to click install client not server unless you're setting up a server that's a whole different thing i will not go over because that takes forever you want to go install client and da, 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 da. i've already done it so i don't need to worry about anything but it'll then install it for you uh i must stress at this point i'm I, some people do, some people don't. I always open Minecraft, okay? Open Minecraft, open it, load a world, exit out, and your mods folder will be there, okay? It always, always, always will be, okay? As you can see here, I've already got my .minecraft folder saved as a bookmark. I recommend doing that. It saves a lot of time. So you want to get to your .minecraft, and it's usually within the roaming folder, so you can find it yourself. All you need to do, too, is go to the C, users. So you want to go to the C drive, users, uh, program, I think it was it. Where is it? App data. So it's users Corey app data. Um, so not Corey for you guys, but what you want to do is um, app data is never actually showing up on there. So you always want to put slash app data at the top. So it goes like this, like that. Always make sure you've got your app data visible there, okay? So you go blank, for example, your name's John, users slash John slash app data slash roaming to Minecraft, okay? If you save your Minecraft folder elsewhere, follow it to there. Then you want to go to it, and there should be a mods folder saved. Okay, as you can see, I've already got a lot of mods in here. All you need to do is take from your fossils mod. So your fossils, which I was just on. So I'm going to go backity backity, and you're just going to click Control X. So that's or just cut if you right click and click cut. Go to dot Minecraft. Go to mods and paste. I don't need to because I've already done it. And then what that will do for you guys is that will add that mod into there. All you then need to do is load up Minecraft, check on a new world, check it's all working. I already know mine's working. I literally just got finished recording two videos for that. And once that's done, you'll be able to play with dinosaurs. And the fossils in archaeology adds a plethora of dinosaurs, prehistoric mammals, and marine reptiles, and pteranodons. I think I said that right. So if you want to go ahead and play with them, guys, you can enjoy them to your heart's content. You can also go ahead and... Uh, Go ahead exploring. It's got an extra little bit of mission to it. You can find Anu, which is the prehistoric evil dude. <laughs> Aptly named, I guess. 
and I, I really just recommend checking this mod out guys if you haven't already and I really hope this video has helped if you still got any queries I will link it step by step in the description below I'll also be in the comment section stalking every now and then so if you have a question drop it to me or even send me a message and I'll get that answered for you guys okay I'll do my best to help you and see what we can do but I hope this has helped you today guys if you've enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like if you haven't enjoyed the video for whatever reason feel free to dislike but tell me why uh, make sure you don't comment down below if you find any difficult and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe because I really appreciate that anyway guys thank you very much for watching have a nice day and ta -ra.